We are here with Mike O'Hara and he's with SCORE. Mike, thank you for coming on the program and joining us this morning. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, can you tell us what SCORE is, what SCORE stands for, and also how it's associated with the SBA? Okay. Uh, SCORE is a national volunteer organization. <clears throat> it was started by the, uh, uh, with the support of the SBA in 1964. Uh, and the purpose and mission of SCORE is to assist emerging and existing small businesses uh, through a variety of counseling services. Um, it's, a, it's a countrywide organization. It has grown from the beginning to now uh, about 370 chapters, wow. over 11,000 volunteers. Uh, about a dozen or so of those chapters are in North Carolina, including Charlotte. Um, and we have about 65 uh, active volunteers <laughs> at this point. The name originally came from Service Corps of Retired Executives, but we okay. have de-emphasized that in recent years because um, we have more and more entrepreneurs and people with business backgrounds, but not executives. Mm -hmm. And also we have more and more people who are not retired, uh, mm -hmm. who are uh, especially entrepreneurs who have flexible schedules and have some time to do counseling. So. Uh, we just now call ourselves uh, SCORE uh, Counselors to America's Small Business. Okay. Well, it was great for us when we were starting up and we did our business mm -hmm. plan, we came and met with you, which was a huge help, you know, to have a second set of eyes and somebody who's seen this before, you right. know, because we both come from executive backgrounds and work for big companies. We had never started our own business before. And um, it's, it's great. That's a free resource. And you have an, a location working out of the chamber right here in Lake Norman. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, we, we appreciate the, uh, the, the thing that I think attracts volunteers to SCORE, uh, especially those of us who are retired, who've had business careers, mm -hmm. uh, you find fairly quickly that just to shut it off and go home mm -hmm. uh, is not very interesting. So uh, the opportunity to keep involved with business um, and uh, especially to see a, a business flourish and succeed like yours has mm -hmm. uh, is something that really makes it worthwhile. Now what are some of your other success stories or some of the other businesses that you've gotten involved with that you've or you have an interesting story or? Well we have we have a number uh, here right here in the Lake Norman area a number of businesses we've been involved in we we um, don't like to talk specifics without the permission of the right, business right. owners. The other thing is that um, I guess it's fair to say that we're not always involved on kind of an end-to-end -end relationship from plan to completion. A lot of times we'll have an involvement, um, a one-time a one -time kind of thing. I think of one business that I met with, uh, oh, shortly after I joined SCORE about five years ago that's still in business. They had a, a well-developed business plan. They really wanted another set of eyes looking at it before, mm -hmm. they, before they pulled the trigger and started. Right. Uh, and that's really all we did. So uh, I think we helped them a little bit. We made some suggestions that, that they uh, uh, implemented. Uh, but whether you call that a success or not, I don't know. We also, you know, we talk with people. Um, we may sometimes help someone change the direction that they're going. In some cases, people want to have their own business, but they're not sure what or how. So maybe a franchise is a, mm -hmm. is a good opportunity for them. Uh, we sometimes get involved with people financing and help them prepare a, uh, a loan presentation uh, to a bank or another lender. So it can be uh, extensive involvement or it can be a fairly limited involvement. I heard that, or I read somewhere that um, with the economy being the way it is and a lot of people either losing their jobs mm -hmm. or finding that the industry that they're in wasn't very profitable for them mm -hmm. have started their own businesses and there's been kind of a growth in startups and small businesses. Have you seen that or? It's hard to tell. We, uh, looking at our activity this year, and we're on a, an October 1st fiscal year because of our relationship with the government agency, the first um, four or five months, our activity was quite a bit less than it was oh, okay. the year before. But the last several months, it has picked up and we're, we've actually closed the gap. Uh, so there's more activity going on now than there was earlier in the year. So I, my read on that is that uh, initially, a lot of people that had a, a small business idea decided this is not a good time. Now as time has gone on a little longer, 
they thought it through and yeah this is a good idea and this may not be a bad time to get started especially to get the groundwork done and be ready when the curve starts moving up to, to take advantage of that. There are also some initiatives um, going on now that there's a governor's task force initiative in the greater Charlotte metro area um, that, that we have some involvement with as well as the community colleges and the uh, Small Business uh, Technology and Development Center, SBTDC, which is another SBA uh, uh, supported uh, organization. And among other things, this initiative is providing free uh, in-depth um, uh, entrepreneurship training through the Kauffman Foundation oh, to people who have been displaced by the current economic situation, primarily aimed at financial services industry mm -hmm. people. So that's, uh, I think, probably helping some people uh, get started. So we definitely are seeing our activity picking up in recent months, uh, okay. both in the workshops that we do and in the counseling activity. Now you counsel all different industries, all types of businesses? Yes. Yes, we uh, um, will will counsel anyone uh, that's that's interested in starting a small business. In some areas, we have local expertise. We've got people with restaurant background, retailing, mm -hmm. a lot of people with with corporate background. So you try to match people up. Then someone will call, score, and you'll get the details, and then you'll try to find the right. Yes, Canada exactly. Partner with them. And if we don't have the expertise locally, uh, we can try to find it nationally. One of the things that SCORE has is an email counseling network that's countrywide, so it opens up a lot broader array of, of backgrounds and expertise okay. than we would have locally. And it's great, it's, and it's a free thing. It's like, are there any costs it's crazy involved? that people or? wouldn't take advantage of it. It's, it's the only thing that we charge for is workshops and seminars, and that's okay. to cover the cost of materials. But all the counseling services, the one-on-one, face-to-face -on -one counseling, the email counseling, uh, the SCORE national website, as well as our local website, has a variety of information that's available. The national website has got online training courses and a variety of subjects. It's got business planning tools. I think that's how we originally found you. Weren't you looking up business plans? And yeah, the online resources your, are your great resource because they're up. sample business plans and cash flow right. Right. and and, right. um, and all of that is no charge. And so how are you funded? How do how do you uh, we well first of all we're a volunteer organization so mm -hmm. We're not paying at the local level. There's a national office, uh, but very limited paid staff. Um, the, uh, we get a, a national budget through the SBA every year. It's about $5 million. Uh, it's been at that level for several years now. And that supports the national staff. The website, which is one of the most robust business websites uh, mm -hmm. that I'm aware of, mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, the expenses in the local chapters. Uh, and, and for that, nationally, we have, uh, as I say, over 11,000 volunteers. Last year, over a million and a quarter volunteer hours. So it's a pretty good bargain wow. uh, for that price. And how many businesses do you help locally a year? Is there a statistic for that? Or do you yeah, um, the last full year, um, we we had just over a thousand new wow. clients, both face to face and online. About eighty percent of those face to face. And we'll be about the same this year. As I say, we started off slowly, but we have closed the gap and, and uh, activity is picking up. And that's kind of a similar pattern uh, countrywide. Uh, countrywide, new clients, face-to-face -face and online, were over 150,000 last year. Wow. wow. Now, this, the website, what's the address for the website if someone wants to go look up more information about your resources? and? The national website is score, S-C-O-R-E dot org. Okay. And then we also have a local website, which is charlottescore dot org, all, okay. Charlotte Score, all one word. Mm -hmm. The local website has information on our local services, um, the locations and times that we do counseling, uh, when our workshops are scheduled. Mm -hmm. And also, we have uh, been building a sort of a portfolio of local and regional links. The national website has got uh, links to a variety of business services, but we've got some that are specific to North Carolina or, or this mm -hmm. area. Uh, North Carolina has some great websites, um, uh, the Department of Commerce, the Secretary of State, and, and uh, 
some other websites like that that we link to, IRS, things mm -hmm. like that. So yeah. Secretary of State websites help if you're forming an LLC, which is what we did. And people don't realize, too, that you can just go on there and use the forms. People pay lawyers to, to right. do that, and it's all right there online. Yeah, there's uh, that's a great website. The Department of Commerce has got a great website uh, with a whole section on starting a business that mm -hmm. has a lot of resources. They also have a call center, kind of a clearinghouse for licensing and permit issues and things like that that we often refer people to. And uh, you know, as much as possible, if there are other places that have got information, we don't try to reinvent the wheel. We right, try to right. mm -hmm. try to put people in touch with where they can get the best help. 